What's going on everybody? This is my next video. Um, it's a story about how I moved to New I personally moved to New York and if it helps you guys, if anybody ends up watching this that is trying to move to New York, I hope it helps you by me telling you my story and maybe you see the flaws or anything like that. In my personal opinion, I did it. I don't have any things I would change about how I moved here, but once again, that's my opinion. There's obviously other ways to do it and of course other people have different opinions on how I moved and there are obviously probably better ways I could have done some other things. Just I'm going to tell you how I did it and you can either do it the same or if you're not even moving this is just entertaining for you. So let's get into it. So at the beginning I was actually, I've actually th been thinking about moving to New York for the past like three years um, and I just now recently did it. but. Uh, I guess the new year really just sparked that I want to get started uh, thing going for me. So in around, I think it was the beginning of February, I put in my two weeks notice um, with my job. And I had a good amount of money saved up, but uh, I had some baggage and things like that I needed to take care of. So I put in my two weeks, I worked those two weeks, um, I did some things here and there. But uh, there was a few other things going on in my life. For one, I had this OSHA 30 class, which is a 30 hour class online for construction, because that's what I was in. And I just wanted to get it over with, because you know, it expires eventually, and I just wanted to get it over with. So I did that, I think I had 25 hours left, and I did those 25 hours in a week. And then I also had my, one of my cars up for sale, and uh, of course I was looking for an apartment at this time as well. Um, I wanted to be able to know what I could afford see where I ended up wanting to live, uh, which ended up being Queens, actually. I can't, it's really hard for somebody in my position or, you know, people that are, yeah, people that are like in my position to live in Manhattan, because Manhattan is super expensive. Like, New York's expensive. In Queens, right here where I live is expensive, but in Manhattan, it's like it, insanity. So I didn't even bother um, looking for any apartments there. But uh, so yeah, like I said, I ended up moving here to Queens, and my rent here is 975. Uh, but before I get into that, back to the the first few weeks before I actually moved, I also wanted to knew that I wanted to get into some real estate when I got here. So I immediately bought a real estate uh, licensing course, and that course is 75 hours online, just sitting at the desk reading the screen and it it's hard um that is you have to have some motivation for that uh, i did not some days um but i still got like around 50 hours of it done before i actually got here to new york so i had another 25 i had to finish here in new york which wasn't bad um but so my next order of business was actually finding the apartment where did i go to find the apartment um so actually as you may think i don't think it is the best way to go through a real estate agent. Um, one, if you're going, if your budget was small like mine, they aren't going to prioritize you as much. So you're not going to, they're probably not going to find anything for you any faster than you can find yourself. Um, and also they aren't allowed, specifically the way I found my apartment was through Facebook groups. And some Facebook groups, the good ones at least, don't really allow real estate agents into their groups and stuff like that. Uh, just because it's not for that they just want you know people like me and you to post their apartment sublet whatever on their group and then you go and then easy like that so that's what happened with me the specific group I used was uh, it was called gypsy housing and you know I looked through there just about every day messaging a few people here and there but what I ended up finding was this apartment on there I, I messaged the guy on Facebook message we talked for a little bit just pricing things like that what the apartment looked like um, it was all good uh, the thing for me is I lived in Ohio and of course you know I wanted to move here to New York so what I don't suggest um, put a warning sign everywhere do not do this do not buy or rent or sublet the apartment without viewing it yourself in person um, I highly suggest this or in my case I had a friend here that I trusted and uh, she went, came and looked at the apartment for me um, and it was a good thing I trusted her opinion because I got a great deal here. Um, like I said before, my rent here, you know, in Queens is still expensive, Astoria, Queens. So it's like a 15 minute commute to Manhattan is still 
a pretty decent paycheck. It's 9.75 a month here, but you know it's all relative. Um, but uh, yes, so I live in a, I actually live in a uh, one bedroom apartment. And I live in the living room. Um, I might do a apartment tour later just to show you how it all works, but that's actually a curtain right there. Um, and it's just a separate entrance to the living room, which a little bit that you can see, but it's actually pretty nice. Um, and then of course we have kitchen, bathroom, and you know, his room. Uh, so, and he gets the one bed because he's the least holder and I'm just subletting. So after you find your apartment, it's the actual moving part, right? Um, so I rented a U-Haul. I didn't have much stuff, even though it may look like I have a lot of stuff. Um, I did not have much stuff. Uh, so I just rented a U-Haul, the smallest one, or the whatever one can fit a queen size mattress. And uh, my parents, uh, luckily enough, just drove me up here and dropped, dropped me off, basically. I stayed here for a few days. They looked around um, and basically just moved me in. So that's, that was that. So immediately the first thing that I did when I got here was I applied to about a billion different jobs. I showed you on my last video, I'll show you here, well I don't have my phone near me. It, it, I played to, I've applied to about 105 different jobs. Um, and you know, some of them were scams, some of them, you know, iffy, just didn't really like it. It was, you gotta work for it, um, especially if you're in my position and you know, you could, you're moving here because you like the work. That's why you're moving here, because you like the hustle, you want the hustle, and you live for stress, basically. Um, at least that's why I like to think about people that move here to, to move here to New York. Um, so for me, that is difficult. Um, I'm only 18, and not having any experience under my belt, especially not a college degree or anything of that sort, it's hard to find a job where you can pay rent, uh, because I just told you how expensive my rent is here. And you have to be able to find a job that is able to pay you rent, make you, let you eat. You're going to have to limit yourself on some things for a good bit um, until you can really take off. Uh, and I haven't even done that yet. I've only li been living here for two weeks now. And yeah, it's just crazy how expensive the rent is. But you're coming because it's New York City and you love it here. And there's so many good things you hear about New York City, even though we got the coronavirus going on right now. It's right here. Uh, maybe I'll make a video about how great it is in New York City because I actually love it here and that's all that matters, right? Another thing about moving uh, once you get here, or actually it should be before you know you start packing up, try to pack only the essentials. I packed a few things here and there that I actually you know wanted and stuff like that, but other things were just strictly essential. Um, I don't have, I don't even have like a basketball or anything here to entertain myself outside. Um, but really, you're not going to need it anyways. If you watched my other video about my first week here, if your week is anything as crazy as that week, you're not going to have time to do anything anyways. So don't worry about that. You'll find stuff to do here, especially in New York City. There's always something crazy going on. And as I'm sitting here editing this, I'm realizing I posted no outro when I'm recording. So here it is, the outro, that was the end of the video, that's all. Um, it still says like 87% of you still aren't subscribed. So like I said in the last video, I'm gonna ask you again, you know, what, what, what's good? Just go ahead and click it, it takes two seconds. And also in this video, you also heard how much my rent is, so you know I need money. So you know, just go ahead and help me out, since I know you're not doing anything anyways because of this coronavirus, so it takes two seconds just, you know. But yeah, like I said, you know, there's gonna be a, this circle just right here, just, you know, click it, and then, and then like maybe watch one of these videos. Go watch them too, you know, because yeah.